Just before I start this video, um, I just got to say that I had a right old time with Bootstrap Studio. It kept freezing and I keep getting JavaScript errors as well. So I hope it's still educational enough to understand what I was trying to get a, the point across, but it is very difficult and I've noticed this before. Um, and it's not the computer, the computer's running fine, but I keep, as soon as I should have down as well, I keep getting the JavaScript errors. So please bear that in mind before uh, before you watch this. Okay, so again, thanks for watching. Okay, a question on Bootstrap Studio about um, vertical sidebar menus. Um, this question was, uh, how can we change width pattern as well for sidebar and links using custom CSS? This is... Um, this was on a video I've done two or three years ago, so the Bootstrap version has changed. Anyway, we'll go to uh, here, just on the, a blank canvas, if you like, and find the vertical menus. Okay, so there's one or two here. They work virtually the same, really. Um, I'll just put this one in here. And if you've used any vertical menus, you're probably quite familiar with this one. So straight away, um, what I would do is go into um, convert HTML and custom the code, let it code there. Okay, so with this, if you look at exactly what's what's going on, just go to styles there and here we go. Right, um, things here that is very important. I hope my zoom's working on here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we see div dot vertical um, dash nav. Okay, so this is very important. This is actually what Bootstrap developers have put in. And the thing say that's very important here is position absolute and also at the bottom there Z index. Okay. To change the width of this, so it's actually st still in a fixed position um, yeah, with position absolute, but you can put position fixed as well uh, which would have the same outcome um, my pro my problem what I, I said to the chap who, who uh, asked the question was on mobile devices you would be still seeing that um, the vertical navigation all the time um, on mobile phones now where they're like you know they're quite quite large so I don't know whether that would um, affect anybody's viewing uh, experience I don't know but anyway this is the question. So margin right, I mean, you would change, you can change the width um, by that. And there's your, if you didn't uh, put the tick on there, it would be like this. So you can manipulate this. Okay, so you can actually see, um, we're going from the right here. So it's not, not from the left. Okay, so if you put like, you say 95%. Okay, so you see that that's very, very thin now on the um, earth. Nav uh, vertical navigation so we just you, you can manipulate this to whatever you want all right so you can put you know something like um i'd put that 70 percent. see if that works any better yeah so that's like that's um the width is with the width there is more okay um so just on there as well i mean you can change the background color so for example there uh, um, I don't know if, uh, I mean, this is something I didn't realise. I mean, it's probably been around ages, but I didn't realise the colour picker was quite as um, effective when you do that. So maybe it's me or maybe it's, uh, it's been on there a while, I'm not sure. But anyway, so you put in like so, <laughs> that colour if you wanted to, a lime green um, example. And uh, yeah, so you, you can really change the colour on this. To anything you want so that's that way of doing that so if you go down on this here um, this is bootstrap studio where it's locked so you kind of touch anything on these but you can on the uh, first bit of that okay uh, to use pattern um, you can create a, um, a style vertical nav where the links are so you could pattern um, you know you can do whatever you want really you could say uh, 45 pixels there you see that comes really that's a lot of pattern that and probably you wouldn't use that in there oh dear. Um, sorry about this 
jumping all over the place, but it really is. I do wish Bootstrap Studio would use fatter um, scrollers. Anyway, um, so that's basically that. But if you wanted to use element.styles, which would... Um, so now with the custom code, um, what you would be looking for here is... I'll just go in as well again. The UL where it says class equals... Um, vertical nav list okay and then i'll just come out of that so we'll go to styles on here and there's your vertical nav list again um so again that you can go 25 pixels and it's it's like that with a pattern um and it, that's basically what you do um if you go back and you can use a link for put this up a bit you know like where you put your links okay is here in the um, you can't actually do it on here as well but yeah in the custom code you just put your link of where you would go um, so there you know you just put your if you wanted to link to your website or someone else's website or whatever you want to do you just put it in there all right um, you can do these by just edit you know edit them here or you know that's uh it's entirely up to you what you would do there um where it says item one um oh you know just put something like home page apply there you go and that's that um again colors and everything like that can be easily sorted out but that's that's basically what you do really